Today in YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun comparison between Ubuntu Mate uh, version 21.10 on the left and Linux Mint 20.2 on the right, also Mate edition. So uh, the reason why this might be considered a good comparison is because they are both the latest releases, they are both based on uh, Ubuntu and they are both using the Mate desktop environment. But that is uh, seemingly where the, the similarities may end because as you can see here we uh, have a bit of a different look and feel. The whole point of this is the Linux Mint version of Mate does try to copy every other version of Linux Mint, Cinnamon and XFCE and you know, uh, just the list goes on but it's um, yeah just, just a, a little bit different. Uh, it's a sort of upside down, a start menu there or starting from the bottom instead of the top but it is what it is, otherwise it is functionally the, the same there. You've only got the one bar on the, uh, on the Linux Mint side of things whereas uh, the the stock Mate desktop environment is what you could say is actually is being used for Ubuntu there. So it's pretty interesting there in my feels. Um, now we've got the, the option to look for software. So that's all good there. If we get the transmission, we'll probably find it. If we can type it in, yeah, it should look uh, quite similar. Not exactly the same, but uh, yeah, they've got their nice own little icons there. So Linux Mint is really making its own, which is probably something to mention here. Uh, in terms of the file managers, we will be dealing with the same type but uh, let's just load this up can't hurt it is uh, the KJAR file manager which is totally synonymous with uh, the the Mate desktop environment there so you'll find that all the time uh, if we have a little bit of a look under the hood uh, let's see what we can find there so I'm going to have to load up a few little bits and pieces here but uh, let's see here we go. So it hurts me a little bit here, but you've got a much later and greater kernel on the Mate side of things, whereas whereas you are dealing with the older 5.4 kernel on Linux Mint. Reason for this is, although it is based on Ubuntu, it's based on an older long-term service release. This can be changed, uh, but uh, it, it is what it is out of the box. So if you get Linux Mint, you're probably going to stick with this and not try to screw up the kernels and download a new one and cause potential issues there. Um, now let's see, let's uh, move across to say the RAM usage, so on boot up, as you might expect, almost exactly the same amount of RAM, about 556 or six, 560 megabytes of RAM for both of them as they are using the same front end there. Surprisingly Linux Mint is using an older kernel but it is using just a couple more megabytes of RAM so that's kind of funny and just something to interestingly note there. But otherwise, you could consider these much for muchness. But um, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.